so I went into Jessup's to get some film for the film camera. She didn't have the one that I wanted. So I got one of these. What is it? So it's a Fujifilm one use quick snap camera, right? 27 shots. It's got a 400 film in it. There's a little to no functionality in it. You twist the wheel, you take the photograph. There is a flash that could be turned on and off. So I was thinking, give ourselves an hour, take 27 photos in 27 different locations in Belfast, in the city center, and see if they're shit. Or if you can take a decent photo on something like this. <laughs> you'd, you would probably still see these at some weddings. They just used to sit on a table at weddings all the time, but um, these were actual legitimate options back when I was a child, when you went on holiday, and then that would be your camera on your holidays. Have you got the camera? Yep, I've got it. Quick snap. Hilarious. So as you can see, if you've never used one, there's a flash on and off. There's a wheel to wind the film through. There's a viewfinder <laughs> that's just a bit of glass, looking through a bit of glass. It's not even through the lens, and then your lens. And we'll go, we'll get it developed. Location one, Ulse University. That's a 35 millimeter lens. So it's uh, quite a tight little crop. I think you need to think about this one a second. The building's standing on its own. Actually, the old building is interesting me more than a new one. But I was kind of hoping to find something with like the relationship between the buildings, like this. That's one. That wasn't satisfying at all. Is that one? That's one, let's go. The problem with a building like Ulse University is it's, it's, a, it's beautiful architecture, so it's very obvious the shots you wanna get from it. So trying to find something that isn't just the, the first thing you see is very tricky. But I had to just get one shot done because I was just gonna walk around there in circles like an idiot, worrying about what everybody said. If you've seen my last YouTube video, you'll understand how difficult this one is to film. I know it's obvious, but I need a gimme. And if this one looks shit in the camera, then we know they're all gonna look shit. That is wildly dissatisfying. Even the button press on it is shit. Just, and I'm like, did it fucking do anything? Did it do anything? Where to next? This feels like it's gonna be a very long 27 foot. Let's get a bit quicker at this. I quite like the framing with the ticket zone and the danger vaults. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a band, the Danger Vaults. <laughs> I might do two in this location because they're different shots. The one, old, oldish, newer, new, newer, more new. Wow. Moss, maybe? I mean, it wouldn't be a Belfast street shoot without this one. There's an interesting little doorway down the side here. I used to work actually up here. It's just a lot of interesting stuff in this alleyway. I'm 
I thought I had one more shot. I was gonna go for a moving bus to see what it's like with motion. But it turns out that was it. Let's go get it developed. It's nerve wracking. I need to do a thumbnail photo for this and I want it to be in the middle of a street. So we're just gonna stand up and hold it to the camera here. Fucking hell, here we go. collect them tomorrow because I took too long it actually took two hours not one hour because I forgot that I put a time limit on it and I swan it around literally zero time management over here it's ridiculous so join me tomorrow when we pick up the film and the next day let's go get these pictures oh, mate, thank you so much right, cheers no take it easy right got them let's take a look at them right Okay, photographs are back. I got six by four glossy, and I just told the guy to print all of them, even if they were underexposed, overexposed, look like dog shit, just print them. For reference, that camera thing, this thing here, I didn't, I didn't actually buy this from Jessup's. I bought this in Asda the other day, and it was reduced. So 11 pound for the camera, and then to get these prints, 27 shots, six by four glossy prints, and get everything digital on a on a thumb drive cost 19 pound. So 30 quid. There's the thumb drive. You get your negatives, you get your photos, and you get a contact sheet. Let's take a look at them and see what the crack is. So I mean, they're in no particular order here by the looks of it. We're so used to pixel peeping, you know, and by that I mean like if you shoot on digital, you zoom in to every little detail and you start to notice all the flaws of your shots. When you're dealing with a, a print, a physical print in your hand, you can't zoom. So you just look at the shot for what it is and how it's been framed and in my head, right? <laughs> I was expecting them to, well, not to be shit, not to be that shit. Man, they are so bad, aren't they? When I think back to like photos as a kid and what the film was capturing back then, it's very similar to the sort of stuff you would have had. <laughs> There's that dude. There's a dude in this shot here, in the background, right? In the purple, you can't see his face. And he come up to me after I took that photo and he's like, mate, did you take a photo of me there? And I was like, probably, yeah. And he's like, I am so fucking high right now. And I was like, uh -huh, don't worry about it, mate. No one cares. <laughs> Some of these are so shit. Now the thing with this camera is this was doing all the work, right? So it was basically working out all your exposure for you. It's a 400 film, which means you should be able to capture some movement in it, fair enough. And it's working out all the, everything else. So it's, um, I mean, that shot's okay. I don't mind that one. To be honest with you, do you know what they look like? Do you ever find an old box of photographs somewhere, like from years ago, right? Someone went somewhere and took a shit camera like that somewhere with them and took photos. That's exactly what they look like. Um, look, we're not gonna fucking polish a turret here. That is the only photo, that one there, right? <laughs> that I quite like. And I think it's because the, the gritty style of that suits that kind of grainy, dirty, shitty sensor camera. Um, what I find quite interesting about this is I don't own a 35 millimeter um, lens. I'm pretty sure that was a 35 millimeter on that or equivalent, you know? I don't really shoot with that, so it was quite a weird focal length me. But what I find quite interesting is, I, I, I basically shot everything like a snap. And I mean, it is called a one-time use quick snap. You know, it's called a quick snap camera. But I did just snap. I didn't like, I didn't really heavily overthink comp composition or framing. I was just like, oh, that scene, photograph. And then <laughs> you look back at it and you go, Oh, now I understand why people didn't take a lot of photographs back in the day. I mean, you flick through it and you go, yep, cool. I mean, that shot there, fresh garbage, right? That's a shot that my mom would have shot in when she was younger. That looks like a photo from back then. <laughs> and that photograph was taken in 2023. The people in that shot as well make that hilarious because they just look like they're just stuck in time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little look at the negatives. I'm gonna take photographs of it and I'm gonna develop them myself digitally using my phone. There's a way you can do it. We'll flip another, I'll put on Instagram if I decide to do that. If you're like me, all right, and you're thinking to yourself, 
It, how shit can it possibly be? It can be really shit. <laughs> really shit. Um, I think I was I think I was expecting a little too much for a shit ass camera like that. Was it worth 30 pound? Probably not. It was good fun to make and I enjoyed that and I'm, I'm glad like every photograph came out which is quite nice. So I think next thing I want to try to do is maybe go buy a Porta 400 film and stick it into one of my actual SLR cameras and then go and shoot some photographs in that. The last one I did on film, I shot on my old Ricoh, but I think the camera needs service because the focus was out on everything, even though it was in on camera. So I'm gonna try to shoot on my Pentax MZ50 and try a film on that and see how that goes. I imagine this whole film thing is gonna be very short lived because it's good fun. It's quite nice the way the, the way in which your head operates when you're shooting because you can't review it. So there's just a lot of faith in it. But I really do like that photo. The more I look at it, and that one, actually the fresh garbage one, there's some shots in here that are, that are actually quite nice and they suit that style. They do just honestly feel like old photos that someone took in the 1990s. The, the other thing to consider with all of this is um, the memory card ones because and correct me if I'm wrong, if you work at Jessup's, maybe you know, but I'm pretty confident these are digital prints and they're not exposures. So if you imagine a, like, a, like a photo on film is analog, right? And you, it's captured by allowing light onto the sensor. So light comes through the lens, hits the sensor in different ways and creates your image. Now, when you're printing out an analog photograph, a film photo properly, you should expose it with an enlarger which is a machine where you put the bit of film in the top and then you move your bit of paper and you move a bunch of wheels and it moves up and down. You set the thing up and then you shine light through the film onto photographic paper, which is very light sensitive. So that's be done under like a red light. Um, and it all comes like a little black seal bag. You put the photo down and then you expose that. If you know this, sorry, but if you don't, you expose the photograph on and then you can adjust sharpness and you can do things like dodging and burning and stuff like that. And I used to do a lot of that in the dark room and it's really, really good fun. I've only ever done it with black and white photos. I've never done it with, with color and building a dark room is something I would quite like to do for that. Um, but I'm pretty confident that these are not exposed like that. These look like digital prints. And the reason I think that is because you can see what looks like little print lines along there. You know, normally when a photo is, you know, and they're, they're sort of sticky, which would make you think that they're printed on rather than exposed onto that paper. Now I think that does affect the quality of the print as well. They feel really out of focus and like really just like there's no clarity to them at all. So look, that was interesting, that was good fun. I mean, don't go and waste your money. I've done it now for you. You know not to go buy those cheap shit cameras. You're not gonna get anything from them. Um, let me know if you've shot any of those things before, had any luck, you know anything. Maybe I was doing something fundamentally wrong. I can't imagine so because there's only one button. Appreciate you watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. 30 quid. What, Pamela? 30, 30 pound? Yeah, no, I spent it on, I spent it on a quick snap camera at Asda. Mm -hmm. Were they good? Were they good? 30 pound, Pamela, were they good? No, they were dog shit.